you know, some people would, and I think that has a lot to do with youth. Excuse me. That has a lot to do with youth. But a lot of people do any damn thing for some money. Any damn thing. Anything. And I think about some of the things when I was younger. Um, would I have done anything for money? And there's certain things I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done. I've never been that person. Some sometimes people say that's what's wrong, <laughs> you know, especially in the businesses that I've been in. Uh, uh, I'm not cutthroat like that. Uh, so, um, when I come across a story like this and just imagine it, somebody having sex. With somebody in their nineties, um, because they got a three billion dollar fortune, it makes me want to puke. Especially if they look like this man who already looked like his ass is ripped for the casket. Um, he's looked like he in the casket, except he's standing up. So, good morning. I still got on my fifty one fifty shirt. Because this isn't crazy shit. The billionaire mogul Sumner Redstone is dead. His ass is 97 years old. And he ran Viacom CBS. And he demanded a daily diet of steak and sex into his 90s. He risked legacy in a lurid lawsuit with a jilted younger lover. Oh, my God. It makes me really want to throw up. And so if any of y'all get a chance to see this man's picture, I can't even do the story. He's so damn ugly. And I'm not trying to be funny. Y'all already know, um, you know, black don't really crack. And so a lot of white folks don't age very well. And I'm, this is no disrespect to anybody. Y'all already know. You know what melanin does. Okay. And that's why you. But this shit here. Whew, excuse my language this morning. Oh, my God. The man looks like he's a walking corpse. And that's all I got to say. And I guess at 97 years old. Got the damn nerve to have on a damn hairpiece. Lord have mercy. Anyway, if this is not my second story, if this is not racist enough, you know, of course, this is the Mental House magazine. Uh, Trump claims that the suburban housewife will vote for him because he ended a program where low income housing people would invade their neighborhoods. And he also claims that Biden is going to put a black senator uh, in charge. That's just, and that's Cory Booker. So he's going to put him in charge where, I guess, where um, Donald Trump has the the uh, the heart surgery. Okay? Now, oh, my God. He said, a President Donald Trump on Wednesday expressed confidence he'd win the key voting block of suburban women in the November election. A claim coming after rival Joe Biden named a female running mate. The suburban housewife will be voted for me. They want safety and they are thrilled that I ended the long running program where low income housing would invade their neighborhood. <laughs> Biden would reinstall it in a bigger form with Cory Booker in charge. I mean, he going all out with his black and white spiel. And, you know, it, it, I guess it plays to the lowest annals of man to focus on what makes us different as a focus, uh, what makes us the same. And, um, I guess after hundreds and hundreds of years of this crazy ass programming, you have to be mental 
And you can see the, men the mental is all over the world. That's why I used to love the final call. Uh, it used to be Muhammad Speaks. And they used to always have this snake. And I got to get a, a copy of that uh, artwork. It was so profound. It was a snake that had an Uncle Sam, red, white, and blue, with a top hat on. And it, and, it, and it was white supremacy written on it. And it was going through all the countries. All through them. You could see it. White supremacy. white, And then where it really started, and then it come back up and pop his really back head up where his tail is in America. Letting you know where the mother of all you know, Babylon's are, you know, it's, but he said he's going to install it and with Cory Booker in charge. He wrote that on Twitter. Republicans have focused their efforts on courting suburban women in recent elections, dubbing them everything from soccer moms to security moms to Walmart. Well, we'll see. You know, I see that um, 50% of, uh, it's over half of white people think that Donald Trump is doing a fantastic job. So some of these polls say. And so I don't know what 50 that percent that is. All I know is it makes me look at everybody like that sideways. Like, what? Is this really the heart of y'all? Really? This is how y'all really feel? There's a scripture that said, Honor your mother and father that your days may be long. <laughs> it's not just your physical mother and father. It's your spiritual mother and, mother and father. You can't hate who you come from unless you oppose. So, Donald Trump is going for the oldest okie doke in the because uh, he can't win no other way but to appeal to y'all lowest lowest vibration. Um, and um, <laughs> wow, it, 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 it's it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And then um. QAnon follower who won Republican primary immediately called Nancy Pelosi a bitch. Okay? And um, this is who Donald Trump congratulated. Uh, I can't believe that the people are getting away with this type of barbaric behavior. But in Trump's America, anything can happen. Um, it's a huge applause for this line about House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She's a hypocrite. She's anti-American. And we're going to kick that bitch out of Congress. Sounds like your hold on it. This is how the Republicans want to roll. I'm telling y'all. Ain't nothing y'all can do. Nothing. To stop the inevitable. But kill yourself too. You know, and it's amazing to me that you can be so smart when it comes to building up the lower team and not having a problem with that. When anywhere else, except for when it comes to um, black people. Uh, and I always give the analogy of the NBA because I love basketball. And whenever the, the, the basketball analogy is you take the worst team. And you, the odds are the worst team getting the number one pick, you know, are, are are greater because what it does is it brings that it brings that team up that he can compete with the rest of the teams. Correct? You can see that in sports, but you don't want to see it when it comes to us, because common sense would have told you a long time ago you could have used that analogy. To even get us to a, a situation where now it's got to be, well, we don't want to say what it got to be, but y'all know, 
is it rhymes with far. Okay. You can think about that analogy when it comes to a basketball team, but you can't think of that. Let's give the ones that's the lowest on the totem pole the first pick so they can come on up and measure up to the rest of the team. You don't want to deal with that when it comes to us. And that's why it can't go on like this. And that's no matter what Akon said. It can't go on like this, you know. And the last, you know, yeah, some of this stuff is just so pathetic. Um, it's the ticket, you know. They saying that they said a lot of people are upset with the en endorsement. They slammed Joe's choice of the self-styled top cop and her stringent record as the California Attorney General. Um, so, you know, not everybody is for this. So just to let you know. But I think um, I think back in Black Lives Matter helped Kamala Harris uh, come back after losing uh from losing primary race with a key endorsement from George Floyd attorney. Okay. And her stance on, um, I guess, whatever that situation was, I didn't follow it at all. Um, but, however, I want to know how you guys feel about a woman right back here because this is the main story that will lay down with a man at 97 years old that looks like death warmed up so she can be rich and I want to know the real ones out there now I said I can't do it but that I, you know I can't say nothing about nobody else. And if some of y'all got the courage, if you could do it, tell me why. How? Because you be rich for the rest of Ugh. Okay? Uh, all the things that being in a relationship with somebody encompasses. Tell me why you would do that with somebody that looked like this. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>